In this video, I'll talk about what is involved in adopting or adapting open educational resources to use in your course. I'll talk about adapting and creating your own OERs in later videos in this series. When you are using a free resource or a resource from the library, you have to link to it wherever it is. But when you're using an open educational resource, you have the right to retain it. That means you can create your own copy and use that. In fact, you should create, use, and share your own copy. There are several reasons for that. First, if you have your own copy, it won't matter if the old one disappears. Second, it also won't matter if the old version is changed. Third, since it's your copy, you can make your own changes to make it suit your learning objectives and your learners better. Fourth, if it's your copy, you have more control over the server speed and uptime. Learning resources that keep timing out are very frustrating for students. And finally, creating your own copy and sharing it with the world is the best way to ensure that the information isn't lost. Librarians call that principle LOPS, for lots of copies keep stuff safe. Open educational resources are licensed under the Creative Commons, and 99% of them have the attribution component of the license. That means that if you do not attribute them properly, you are violating the terms of the license, which renders the license void, which probably puts you in violation of copyright. So it's really important to attribute the source, attribute it in the right place, and attribute it properly. This is not about the picky details of formatting. It's about putting the necessary information in a place where people will be able to find it easily. That information is basically what is the original work, who created it, and what's the license. Give me a link back to all of those things and we're good. I will cover this in much more detail in a later video. Open educational resources are under Creative Commons licenses that permit derivative works. That means that you are free to change them in any way you wish in order to make them perfect for your purposes. You can translate them into another language, take excerpts, convert them into another technical format, remake them in another medium, add commentaries and explanations, change terminology or examples or illustrations, and build on them in any way. You are not only free to do this, you're encouraged to do it. Customization works better for learners than one size fits all. This will be discussed more in a later video. Because Empire State College is part of SUNY and we are participating in SUNY OER services, we have the Lumen Learning Platform available to us. This has some major advantages. One is that it comes with valuable help and support from the SUNY OER services staff. Two, it's a really nice platform with a great WYSIWYG interface that will be familiar to you if you've ever used anything like WordPress. And three, Lumen Learning resources can be integrated into our courses in a way that looks seamless to the learners. There is a disadvantage, though. Lumen Learning is an outside organization that SUNY has a contract with, and those can come and go. Your content won't disappear, but in the long run, you might not maintain the control and support that you started out with. That's not a problem, though, as long as you keep a self-archived version, as well as the primary Lumen Learning version. There are many other options available, though. OERs can be any open format. More on open formats in another video. And they can be created with many kinds of software. You can have OER that's just a PDF or an MP4 file, and you can keep that file hosted somewhere safe and also embed a copy in your course. Here is one last consideration. If the OER that you adopt or adapt is an open textbook, that is a long text resource, you may want to consider offering a print option to your students. Many people prefer to use print for long texts because it is harder to read deeply on a screen and also less comfortable to highlight and take notes. As long as your OER is published under a Creative Commons license that allows commercial reuse, that is, it doesn't say non-commercial, you can even sell print copies. The decent thing to do is to sell them at a price that just covers the cost of printing. Our bookstore staff are incredibly helpful about finding the lowest cost, highest convenience option for our students, although there are also plenty of commercial print-on-demand services you can look into. The important thing is to find a way to communicate to students who have enrolled in the course that while they need the resource, they will get the digital version for free, and they do not have to buy the print version. Providing that information through the bookstore is necessary, but not enough. Make sure that information is also in the syllabus and consider adding a note to the course catalog entry.